funny, even if you threaten people, hey, you're not going to get all these parts down. It's like people leaving. They're not seeing this stuff. Okay, now look. Most of the animal is gonad. How do you know this is a female? Because it's larger. It's larger. It's larger, it's larger and it, longer and thicker, right? Thicker. Okay, so when I look at this, basically, if you looked at your, at your, uh, at your atlas, two uteri and then ovary and oviduct are wrapped around. Does everybody see that? The, long, the largest tube is the uterus. So one uterus... Two uterus. Are we all right with that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, let me pull this stuff off, because I'll show you what we're talking about, and it's wrapped around the uteri. See, you see what I mean? The, the, the animal is not anything but one big gonad, literally. I mean, they, we said they produce, you know, 100,000 eggs or so a day. Okay? So, let me show you right there. See this? Look at this. Talk about reproductive potential, right? Unbelievable. And I'll show you how this works. I wouldn't ask it this way on the practical. In the in, but I wanted to show you anyway. In in the atlas, turn to the uh, Ascaris lumbricoides. Turn to the human roundworm. Um, I'd go back the other way. Ah, okay. perfect, right there. Now take a look. If you could stretch it, it's basically, it would be two long tubes, right? Uh, you'd have the ovary, or you'd have the uterus, oviduct, ovary. If you could actually pull them out, you would have two very long tubes. There's the uterus. The next smallest tube is called the ovary, or oviduct, and then the smallest one is the ovary. So here we go. I will show you, and you see if you had, if you just showed that picture there, you'd be able to see that. But here we go. Uh, let's clean that off right there. All right, so there's uterus, right? There's ovary, uh, excuse me, there's oviduct, and here's ovary. How wild is that? It's one thing to see it in a picture. Uterus, oviduct, ovary. Now, I probably would not have that on the practical because I'd have to show you next to each other, wouldn't I? It would be kind of unfair to, to do that. But I, I'm showing you that you can actually pick out three of them there. Uterus, oviduct, and ovary. The finest ones are ovary. Are we all right with that? Mm -hmm. Then the only other thing else that we have to find, and that's easy, should be easy enough, is the intestine. Don't worry about pharynx. But the intestine... That's the only other part, really, in this thing. Um, okay. Where is it? Okay. It runs the into Ah, here it is. You know you're looking at the intestine. Look. Flattened structure. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. It's wrapped, obviously. It's got uh, oviduct around it. But look at this. That is the intestine. So on a lab practical, I could easily have a pin in there like this. And it would be laying to the side. And I could say, what part is that? And that's, and I'd have this cleaned up, right? I would, oh, it's broke, but I'd have that cleaned up. And that, that's easy enough. That intestine is a long, flattened, running the entire length of the animal. We want to get a mail open so I can show you that as well. Okay, are we all right with that?